So listen, y'all. This is as promised. Palestinians are being racist too. Like, comment, and subscribe so this thing can blow up in the fucking algorithm. All right, man. I need y'all help, bro. So anyway, uh, let's expose these people. All right. So she thought she deleted everything off the net, but guess what? She ain't. I ran into Timo, but you should ever fucking call me that. Where you stay? Oh, you from here? Yeah, I'm from here. Okay, well, what you think I'm light skinned? Yeah, everybody be saying that. No, I'm actually Arab. But I feel like I can still say the N word, you know, because like I'm not fucking white and hmm, shit. If it ain't foreign, it's boring, you know? Oh, you hungry, bro? I got you. I got you. I got you, sis. Mm. Hold up. I got to call me. Yo. Bob. Let me cross my like and talk. Mm. Yes, I know. So, uh, you want to know more about that young lady? There's going to be a link above her head. All right? There's going to be a card. That's going to link you back to the previous video. This is the girl that, oh, like, she, her anti-blackness is not a stretch. Look at, look at how she emulates a black girl you know what i'm saying like and whenever they emulate somebody black notice they always go to the most ghetto shit possible they never like they, they just can't fathom that we have intelligence they can't fathom that we like like are real and honest you know what i'm saying like we can articulate ourselves they, they, we we we're, we're just dumb you know they always go to the bottom the, the bottom denominator you know what I'm saying? Anyway, enough about her. You know, if y'all want to see more about her, y'all can go check out the other video. You know what I'm saying? We got this woman right here. Let's get it. Because you are all complicit. You know, um, I met a lady. I came to America six years ago. So mm. for just education, because that's the least y'all could do to, I don't know, um, give me some sort of compensation for displacing my family. But wow. The government coerces you to join the military. So basically, <laughs> you guys join the military to kill my people, wow. our people. Right. So I'm going to say a few things and then I'm going to leave the conversation. Hey. Every taxpaying American. Hey, this, hey, Shorty right here, she be cooking. But you see how racist Shorty was back there? Like, real racist. All right. An eligible voter, technically at the hand in imperialism because of what our tax dollars fund and who we elect into office. But the thing mm -hmm. is, we live in a world with new order. <clears throat> you condemn us for enlisting and voting for lesser evils as if there is a way around the system and we're just shamelessly choosing to be part of the problem. If you were to condemn someone for buying from Starbucks knowing that they support Israel, that's reasonable because it's 100% a choice at this point. Like, it's not a necessity. But if you were to shame someone who shops at Walmart when it may be the only thing that they can afford or the only grocery store within their vicinity that they have access to, that's not reasonable. Mm. Both consumers mm. are buying from corporations that fund genocide. Oh my but God. But that black and white is it. You willingly came here to receive an education, all to secure a better future for yourself. A lot yeah. of people are doing the same thing when they enlist. You accepted an opportunity offered through a government that you know is actively oppressing others. You work here and contribute Cook. to the economy and society. Cook. How are you absolved of the same responsibility you say we have in the matter? You acknowledge that they coerce vulnerable children and young adults into enlisting. They take advantage of people's ignorance and desperation and dangle basic human needs in front mm -hmm. of suffering people, offering shelter and money and education and health care, a future. Man, a hey. And they're the ones. Hold on, hold on. Look, look. Her TikTok. I have to shout out right now. Is J Mini. All right. I'm going to link her TikTok in the description. Okay. Forgive me. It look, if it's not there initially when you watch this video, like give it refresh. Okay, refresh. I'm gonna get it there. Okay. I'm gonna get the link to her TikTok because this girl cooks. She's cooking up right now. She ain't said a lot. She ain't said a lot. Like. That girl, by coming here and buying goods and participating in the economy, she supports the military that's displacing and hurting her own people. She could have went to any country and got her education. She didn't have to come to America. She didn't have to. That's cap. She could have went anywhere. But no, she chose to come here. 
catching a stray for wanting to survive? You say we owe you because of the harm we caused you. You speak in a very general manner when regarding us. Mm -hmm. So you are telling us, descendants of slavery, the people who experience massacres on this land, the people yeah. who have whole towns under bodies of water, the yeah. people whose communities were also bombed and continue to be terrorized by the same government that bombed and terrorizes yours, the people who are mm -hmm. also experiencing displacement Due to gentrifying, you are telling those people that they owe you compensation when they have yet to receive their own reparations. As the saying goes, you can't. Mm hmm. Hey, so look, so look, all this, all this, all this crazy talk, all this crazy talk, all this crazy talk that the, the Arabs are doing and all that, like it's a sickness, bro. It's straight up. It's a sickness. Like there, there's no other way to put it. There's no other way to put it. And and this girl right here, this clip, she, she's not Arab, though. You know what I'm saying? She's not Arab, though. But what she does to try and defend them, all right? What she does to try and defend them is absurd. It is outlandish. And I can't even wrap my mind around it, okay? I don't know where the, number one, I'm going to let her talk. So I'm not going to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about the previous people. I don't know where they get off. Talking to black people like we're not suffering already. Like we're not going through nothing already. My thing is they're like, Kamala needs policy. Kamala needs to put forth policy. Kamala needs to say these things. Stop asking Kamala. That's Trump. Why are you not asking Trump? Oh, we know where he stands. Okay, you know where Kamala stands. Then what you fucking asking for? Oh, you asking him because she's black. You're asking her because she's a woman. You're not really asking because you want to know anything. You want her to have to validate herself to you. Meanwhile, a white dude could just come up there and just claim claim he wants to be president and you're okay with that. They ain't gotta do he ain't gotta do no extra explanation. Fucking nuts, man. Get the fuck out of here. What's happening to say that the CIA is scrolling on their phone on their belly with their feet kicked up, twirling their hair, watching y'all do their work for them. Dear God. I'm giggling and sniggling, child, watching y'all do the work of destroying black and Palestinian solidarity all by yourselves. So listen, I hate dumb black people that think they are smart. I'm going to say that again. I hate dumb black people that think they are smart. This girl, somehow, I bet her grade in social studies, you don't know. No. No, because the American the American education system, all you have to do is show up, put the answers on the paper, and 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 memorize some shit, and you'll you'll pass, you'll get an A. So I'm not gonna say that, but I can guarantee you, her school was was not great. School was not great, and she's probably been to college, which makes this even more insane. She's one of those. Okay, she's one of those. But guess what holds true all the time? The septum ring theory, okay? If you don't know what the septum ring theory is, comment septum ring theory, and I'll make a video about it. Because that theory is the most insane thing to come out of Twitter and X, and is accurate. It has never missed, ever, ever. Let me preface everything I'm about to say by saying it does not matter whether Palestinians are anti-Black or not. They don't deserve to be genocided. Yeah. No, 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 you don't get to come to this country, enjoy the luxuries and fruits of our hard labor. And what I mean by hard labor, I mean what we had to go through through the civil rights movement. And if you don't know what that is, hit the African-American History Museum. You don't know what it is. Google, Google, Google Martin Luther King protest. Google, uh, 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 what is it? What is it? Uh, Malcolm X protest. Google fire hosing people. Okay. Google Alabama 1960, Georgia 1960, Google, Google it, 
Google it. It's repulsive. It's sick. It's straight nasty work. It's straight nasty work. We put in the work. We bled. We died. Okay? Kids got bit by dogs. People got set on fire. Towns got bombed into hell. And you want me to just take that disrespect? No. No, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. No. No, I will not. Black and Palestinian solidarity goes all the way back to the civil rights movement, whether it is Malcolm no. X's views on Palestinian liberation, whether it's the Black Panther Party that 60% of Black people said they were proud of at the time, or 46% of Black people also said the Black Panther Party represented their values and their views. These people were anti-imperialist and they were pro-Palestinian liberation. And it's because the same school of thought that says that Black people deserve to die because of insert bullshit reason here, is the same school of thought that is bringing y'all to say that because Palestinians are quote unquote anti-black, we shouldn't care about their lives. It's the same mindset and it's sick. Hopefully. No, no, no. It's not. We're not saying that we don't care about their lives. I'm saying I'm not actively going to support this bullshit. I'm not. I'm not. You're not going to be racist towards me. You're not going to be discriminatory towards me, and then I support you. You don't get to slap me, and then me cook you breakfast. Fuck you. Straight up. Culture influences politics. It is not a mistake that they are literally putting into the cultural understanding that Palestinians do not deserve solidarity because they know that our solidarity as Black and Palestinian people is powerful and it is threatening to U.S. hegemony, period. No, we it... live in a world where it is okay to literally exterminate a marginalized group of people? Listen, listen, listen. People be cooking up and be thinking they have more power than they do. Listen. Black people, we are 13%. Not all black people are even actively involved in policies that support black people. So you probably got around like 1% to 2% of black people that are actively, actively doing things to support uh, black and Palestinian um, solidarity. That is not a threat. That is not a threat. We're not a threat on our own issues, let alone you add in the Palestinian population, which is less than, probably less than 1%. Like, what? What? And you think that, you think the government gives a fuck? No, they don't give a fuck. Let's be real. They don't care. They're not a threat. You're not a threat. We're not a threat on our own. How are you going to add another marginalized group and make us a threat? It's not going to happen. It's not. It's not that that whole we're people of color BS. That it does not work. It does not work. The only thing you can do is take your population and build and have your own coalition and your own representative. Anything else, anything short of that, is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I'm sorry. It's not gonna work. We're not a threat. Then not a single marginalized person on this earth stands a chance against the empire. Period. Your rights cannot be built on the back of the suffering of other people. Because at the end of the day, as long as those people are dehumanized, so are we. As long as those people are not free, we are not living in a liberated society. Period. This is the last little thing I'm going to say. This is the last little thing I'm going to say. But y'all are more mad at people that are advocating against genocide than y'all are about the actual institutions and systems of fascism that this country is built on. Hillary Clinton did not lose the John 16 election because of people voting for third parties. She lost because of the Electoral College. No, no, no. She did lose because some people were voting for third party candidates. This girl is dumb. And I'm going to leave this on her face like this because she's an idiot. Matter of fact, Dr. Umar I'm telling you as a psychologist, I'm not going to be able to psychologize all of them on the corner. Some of them going to sleep. For God! What what are we going to do with you, dude? You need to go back to school. You need to read a book. Matter of fact, maybe even you're reading the wrong books. Just stick to Google. Ask the AI. Maybe you'll get the right answer then. 
because this was a miss. This whole that whole two minute, it was just a miss. It's just you're dumb. You're. D- it's funny they. She mentioned the black people. They mentioned suffering, right? You can't get rights on the back of somebody else's suffering. What did they come? What are they coming to this country and doing? They're getting it the off the back of our suffering. They're not actively advocating for black policies and agendas and stuff. They're like, pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. Meanwhile, you're the the, the creators that are making these TikToks. You're in Britain. You're in the UK. Privilege. You have privilege that the people that are still in Palestine didn't have and the people that were still staying there all the time didn't have. Um, You're in America. You're in Canada. Like, I don't get it. These these creators, if you want to actually go fight and you want to go actually, like, help people, man, I'm tired of looking at how ugly it is. You need to, you need to try to actually, like, go back and do something. Nothing over here is going to change that. Nothing. You want us to tell the government, forget the domestic agenda that we need to do to help us prevent Project 2025 and many other things. You want us to focus on domestic foreign policy over there when the alternative doesn't even give you good domestic policy. Trump not going to do nothing good for y'all. He said he's cool if they wipe y'all off the face of the earth and be done with it. He's cool with it. He's cool if the Ukraine, if Ukraine ain't a thing. He's cool. He's cool with it. This man can't be trusted, bro. That man can't be trusted, bro. He cannot be trusted at all. You know what I'm saying? And I don't trust y'all now. One black. Whoops. Oh, yeah. I apologize. I was supposed to put Shardy on screen. Man, I, I, let me get back to somebody reasonable. Cook, please. Americans responded to being labeled as colonizers along with the rest of Americans. I sat back and I waited. I wanted anything that may have been miscommunicated or misconstrued to be cleared up to be elaborated on. And since that video, you've stated that you don't understand the disconnect. And that's exactly the point. There's a disconnect because African Americans share a lived experience. Okay, so listen. This is another one of these clips that you have to refer back to the first video. And by the third video, all of this, all of this is gonna come to a head and it's gonna all make sense. It's gonna paint a really good picture for y'all. I know you probably watched this video and you wanted to see more, you know, Palestinians saying crazy mess. Trust me, I got you in three. But I had to give us our our rebuttal. You know what I'm saying? Here, that is complex and unique in of itself. This system is quite literally reliant on our oppression to function. So when others speak on it and blame us for the oppression that we are in, as well as you, it's very triggering. Not because of something we don't want to hear or admit, but because the circumstances that we have been forced under are always blamed on us. And then we are called to fix problems that we did not create. Those are do you notice how somebody intelligent talks? Do you did you notice like how like she knows how to work a phone and knows how to actually record a video without doing the little weird thing? Like that most man, I promise, like I was losing it. Like I wanted her to just edit, bro. Like use the edit button. Use the use the trim feature. Get that touching the screen mess out of there. The outside regularly ignore historical context and how that plays a role in human behavior. Uh-huh. You mentioned that we make up 13% of the population, but 30% of military personnel. Did you ask why? Did it occur that this could be because of limited or denied opportunities? The choice made out of duress to escape living conditions that our government forced many of my people in? Or could it be a result oh of an God. praise on young and vulnerable black children? You did what they do to us all the time. You threw a statistic that is a reflection of our oppression in our face without understanding why. I love this girl, bro. It's made to sound. Listen, at J Mini on TikTok, bro. Follow her, bro. I love this girl, man. She's cooking, bro.
easy. That way, if we object or present valid concerns, you can just paint us as being lazy or selfish. Just pull yourself up from the bootstraps. Just get a job. Just start a revolution. It's never a question. It's always expected of us to be at the forefront and risk the rights that we just got. We are only two generations removed from Jim Crow. Two generations. And we are being shamed for wanting to avoid a Jim Crow America where extremists run free, go unpunished, where there is widespread legalized discrimination again, mm -hmm. only this time under a possible dictator. I am still failing to understand how that version of America will be of any use to anyone. Man, listen, bro. She cooked. She cooked, man. She cooked, man. I, I love smart black women. I do. I do. That, that, that is my true weakness. That is my true kryptonite. Like a smart black woman, bro. Um, hey, what you saying? What you saying? Okay. Okay. You know what you're talking about. I love you. You want to go get dinner? Like that's how I feel. That's genuinely how I feel. Um, <laughs> but anyway, let me stop being stupid. <clears throat> so look, this this is the last clip. You know what I'm saying? And then again, tap in part three. Um, we're gonna go over some uh gonna go over some more of their crazy comments. I would really love it if non-black creators on here would stop producing valid critiques of anti-blackness as simply beef or drama. As I said, anti-blackness is a part of the American cultural fabric and yes, the Arab cultural fabric as well. What is unfolding is an opportunity for us to have some teachable moments. Mm. Reducing this uptick in anti-blackness and leftist spaces to simply beef or drama is indeed a dismissive silencing mechanism. More than that, non-black people should be the ones having these teachable moments in conversation around anti-blackness within their communities, yet it's black people out here that I see the most, specifically black women, and we are being subjected to a whole lot of massage noir while doing it. This thing, right. I've been super let down by people I did not expect, mutuals included. We expect this kind of behavior from the right, and Malcolm already warned us about liberals and moderates, but damn, it's kind of actually a little bit worse than I thought. At least on the right, we know who we are dealing with. In leftist spaces, we have to deal mm -hmm. with thinly coated anti-blackness until suddenly it bubbles to the surface and reveals itself for just as harmful, if not worse, than anti-blackness viewed from the right. And as I said to someone in my comments, what we are witnessing should not be reduced to bots or plants or one-off things. No, anti-blackness is a part of the cultural fabric, but it should not discredit the Palestinian movement as a whole. Facts, facts. So I can I can get with her, I can get with her on that, like saying like, oh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't. I would really um, love it if non-black. It shouldn't, it shouldn't like affect the movement as a whole. Like I get it, I get it, I I truly do, and that's that's where I'm at with it. Like these creators. These want me to do things in America for you? Like, no. No, like, I'd rather, like, just donate to the people out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, even though it's, like, tough because they may or may not get it. You know what I'm saying? They may or may not get the aid because of things going on with Israel and how they, like, treat people and how they, like, bomb the, the location when people run to get aid and stuff. Um, yeah, man. That's what I, uh, that's what I love to see. Anyway, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And again, part three will be out tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow. Make sure you tap in. I'm up out of here. It's been great.